Kausar and Ikra Poinda are spending their days at home, waiting to start school like their younger brother Hamza. Their father, Jawit Poinda, who served with the British Army as an interpreter for three years, says he was fortunate to get his family out of the turmoil in Afghanistan to settle into a new life in the town of Warsaw in England's Central West. Yeah, I was a normal person working and a teacher plus a driver. After that, my kids were going to school. When uh, these conflicts come in, so the, the kids were in, uh, they won't go to school. Because uh, uh, in my daughter's school, they found a, a bomb, ID bomb. So they warned them that stop the, the girls' school. Soon after applying for emergency evacuation, Poinder received phone call from the British Embassy, so? confirming his departure to the UK. Ah. He says starting a new life in a new country isn't easy. I thought that it would be like a quick thing, like coming here and the kids will go to school and I'll, I will have a normal life, but it takes much more time than normal. There are 12 newly arrived Afghan families living in these flats. The Warsaw Council says it had provided housing to hundreds of Afghans and all their children will soon be placed in local schools. Hamid, who lives in the same block, oversaw military projects for the British Army. He says those who work for foreign countries were in real danger. In the last two, three years, uh, there were a lot of suicide attacks, suicide bombing, and there were assassination by motorcycle and these things. So we, we felt that um, nowadays, actually, the life is getting worse and worse day by day. So we had to find a, a place, a shelter to keep ourselves um, safe and as well as the family as well. Like others, Hamid and his family are also receiving full UK medical benefits. And he says life is getting back on track. There is a cultural shock, so um, uh, luckily we could manage that well and uh, fortunately my, I mean, two sons are going to school and um, in order to compensate this I would like to be uh, the best citizen here in order to compensate whatever the, I mean, the UK government has done for us. The point of family says they are lucky they have been resettled into homes as hundreds of other families are still stuck in hotels, waiting for councils to provide them temporary housing. The British government has promised all the evacuated Afghan families will soon be fully settled. Mehmet Solmas, TRT World, Birmingham.